Whew, it is hot out here today, family. Quick shout out to this McDonald's over here in Plainville, baby. Across from the old D'Angelo's that's no longer open back there. We have the extreme mix-up mashup going on today. And it's gonna get crazy. Y'all better sit back, relax, get comfortable. Boy, I don't even think y'all ready for this. Don't even want to hold you. I want to get right into business. We have a lot to review. First up, we're going in with the new cookies and cream pie here at Mickey D's. They said, don't play. Enjoy this thing by 115. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to enjoy it right now. I ain't going to wait to no 115. You, you, you hot too. You hot too, boo. You acting crazy looking like a, just a chocolate log with sugar sprinkles on that joint. Mm-hmm. Look like we're sugar sprinkles. Definitely the creamy dream on the interior. And it looks like it's type glazed up, doesn't it, family? Looks like a nice little glazed, sweet little boo thing. And this is their new cookies and cream pie at Mickey D's. Now let me go ahead and get this bite of delight pinky up for extra hood bougie flavor. Mm-hmm. All right, family. And just, you get what you see on this one right here. You do have some remnants of Oreo flavoring on this one. Uh, soft, cream-like, not creamy, but just a cream-like filling on the vanilla side of life. Deep-rooted uh, chocolate after effect on the taste. Remaining on the palate, understand this one right here because of uh, the dense consistency that we actually have going on, you are gonna actually have particles of this stuck in your back teeth. Like, mm, like back hair, it ain't moving. You gotta work that out with the tongue. This, mm, cookies and cream, dame, doesn't really taste like cookies and cream. Mmm, just a little, un poquito. Uh, uh, I ain't gonna stunt. I ain't gonna stunt. I'm giving it a two and a half. A two and a half, go take a bath, yo, because this one stinks. All right, you know what? Let's keep it moving because I don't even want the next thing to solidify. Pardon me for a sec. Pardon me, if you will. A little bit of sugar bug on the sweet tea. But this isn't. Regular schmegular sweet tea, baby. This is why I pulled it up. This is a half and half situation. Quick shout out to the endorsement because he's the first one that I saw do it. And he called it instead of Arnold Palmer, he called it Ronald, for Ronald McDonald, Ronald Palmer mixing their sweet tea with their lemonade. Son, you want something with this one? This one banging out the frame, Cuddy. Mmm. McDonald's sweet tea has a great sweetness to it. I love it bold and cold. But when you dab that lemonade in there and you hit it with crazy dabs too. You hit it with the bong bong. This is the squirt squirt on the lemonade from Mickey D's bong bong. Hit it with the squirt squirt. That little bit of squirt squirt put in wild work. Because you you actually getting some of the, the little pulp action of the lemonade up off in there. And it's nice and cold going down the throat. Tolicles, right? Don't ever disrespect McDonald's Ronald Palmer Sweet Tea and Lemonade 50-50. Yo, Chick-fil-A, y'all 50-50 banging out the frame at times, too. But if you do it over here at Mickey D's 50-50, it got Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I said it. I said it and I meant it. Bite my tongue for no one. Call me evil. I'm unbelievable. Biggie. Brum, brum, brum. Mm. 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 This goes out to you. Woo! 
All right, now for, I have two more mashups for you guys, and I got to put some respect on their name, and the only way to put respect on their name, the ghetto nap. The ghetto nap. Oh, yeah, baby. The ghetto nap. Ooh, rocking to the beat. Boom, boom. The ghetto nap. I think my collar loose. The ghetto nap. It's a big shirt. I'm losing weight. Ghetto nap. Ooh, rocking to the beat. Yo, Dane, how you been losing weight? I've been eating fast food. That's my mood. Bad attitude. Coming through, acting rude. Over at Mickey D's, man. All right, All right y'all. Don't even want to hold you. Um, I'm going to have to do this one first. You said, Dame, which one? This one. And they did forget something, but I won't beat them in the head for it. I can still pull this off. So you can actually go ahead, right, get the cheddar cheese for the jalapeno quarter pounder joint and then get freaky with it. You see me. You see me, family. It was supposed to be cheese and bacon, but it just gave me the cheese. I wanted to dip the cheese in the bacon. So just go ahead and take a nug. Take a nug. Get stupid with it. Get stupid McNoopit. Slide it up if you need to. And hit that thing. Oh! Now, this idea comes in, I was reading my comments the other day for the McDonald's video I dropped on Monday for the cheesy jalapeno quarter pounder, and I was reading the comments, and I guess it was a former employee, he's like, damn, I don't know why you didn't pull up on Mickey D's, beat him in the head, and get that cheese with some nugs and some jalapenos. I didn't get the jalapenos again, but I did get the cheese with the nugs, fam, and you got to do this quick. I'm telling you right now, this cheese is going to solidify fast. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh God. I'm not even going to stump. You know which kind of cheese this reminds me of, family? Y'all remember the little crackers with cheese that you get the red stick with? And then you would have to take the red stick, dip it up off into the cheese, put it on the cracker? Yeah, this one right here. Yeah, that, that's the kind of cheese whiz that this kind of reminds me of right here. Mmm, good. Yo, this combo right here, fam, definitely a four at the door. I wish the cheese was hot. It's actually cold. But if this cheese was hot and I would have got the bacon that I asked for, this one right here could have been a problem in these streets for real. But having a four piece is still a good grade. Mmm, okay. And for my last trick, let me take another pull from my 50-50. It's so smooth going down. Oh, it's so good. McDonald's. Y'all just need to put the 50-50 out for real. The lemonade with your sweet tea mix, just put it out. I promise you, people are going to pull up. And if they know they got the 50-50 right there in their face, that 50-50 going to move. I remember when you first came out with sweet tea and how your sweet tea was moving. Your sweet tea was moving so good, y'all stopped putting that whole entire container out and open for the public. Only certain locations do it. Y'all know better than to do it in the hood. Y'all won't put that joint behind the hood. You know we're going to drink that whole thing. Y'all keep that behind the counter. You know what I'm saying? That's like when you go to the grocery store and you looking, and you looking for where the Similac at, where the Similac. You know what I'm saying? They be like, uh-uh, we got that thing locked up. I know my stop and shop lock it up because folks over there in New Britain don't know how to act. They was pulling that joint off the shelves and stuffing it in bras. It got gangster. Look, all I'm saying is, it's going to be hot like that. You're going to have to hide this too. The 50-50, you're going to have to hide this too. Mm. I need to save some for this last little mix-up. I greatly appreciate all my foodie fam for watching this McDonald's mixer. I'm about to present to you two different versions of McDonald's chicken and waffles. Now, I know, I know it's not an actual waffle. McDonald's doesn't have waffles, but I said two different versions. It's like the pancake and the McChicken, right? So I got pancake and I got chicken patty, but then I got the McGriddle and chicken patty as well. All right, and I ain't gonna stump, I ain't gonna stump. This one came in from one of my Call of Duty brothers that I've been running with since 07. You know what I'm saying? Quick shout out to you, family. I didn't know the vibes. Shout out, what up, what up? Because I told him I was going to do this one with the pancake and the chicken. He was like, damn, stop it. I was like, what up, kid? He was like, 
you better do it with the McGriddle as well. Because it got the syrup already in it. Stop playing yourself. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Shadow, what up, kid? I see you. I see you. Let me go ahead. Two pancakes and McChicken for our hood bougie version of McDonald's chicken and waffles. Let's see what it's hitting on. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Light fluffy pancake action. A little sweetness to it. Off the bat of that matters. Light crisp, minimal chicken. Nothing to, nothing to write home to the parents about or nothing crazy like that, but I would still mess around and give this one a three out the gate for the hood bougie chicken and waffles at McDonald's. Now, let's try it with the McGriddle family. Small, a little more quaint. It has the syrup built in with McDonald's McChicken right there. Come on. Talk to me. Pinky up. I think you know what time it is. No watch needed. Reg, what up, though? Oh. Oh, schniggly. <laughs> mm. Oh. Don't play. This is it right here, family. McGriddle with the McChicken for that crispiness, that light chicken flair, soft McGriddle action, sweetness go crazy dumb for the inserts of the artificial syrup in the game right there. This thing right here is banging out the frame, family. I can't even stunt when I say I'm going to mess around and get this one a 20 on the money. Mmm. Oh, you a bad little, shut your mouth. <laughs> but I'm talking about you, and I can dig it. Mm-hmm. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm just doing hitting. I'm just doing hitting a little something. All right, y'all. Thanks for rocking out with me with a McDonald's mixer. And that's when we just kind of mix and match some items and just get a little wild and get a little crazy. If you want to see more mixes, hit me in the comment section below. That way I can give you a shout out, you know what I'm saying, for you having an idea of the mixer. What would you like to see me mix up at Wendy's or at Burger King or at Sonic or at Dairy Queen Grill or whatever, wherever. You know what I'm saying? Hit your boy up, let your boy know. But this one right here, banging out the frame. Great job, Mickey D's. Again, quick shout out to my peoples over here because I ran into construction on my way over to this McDonald's in uh, Plainville next to the old D'Angelo's across from Silas Dean Pawn Shop and Advanced Auto Parts. And um, I ran the construction and I knew that breakfast ended at 10.30 and then that's when lunch starts. And normally they probably get rid of those items or whatever the case may be. So I got here and I kid you not, I got to the counter, it was 10.32. And I was like, oh, man, I really need to do this mixer, this mashup at McDonald's. And I know breakfast is over, but you know what I'm saying? If y'all got it, can we make it happen? The manager comes out. She was like, oh, no, breakfast is over. I was like, but if you got it, can we make it happen? She was like, un momento, por favor. Ah, chill. Y'all don't know nothing about my seventh grade. That's been y'all up off in here. Right? So I'm over there just chilling. Boom. You know, chilling like I am cooler than the fan. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And then baby girl come back and she was like, we can make it happen. I was like, yes, all right. So boom, I was able to go ahead, order breakfast and order lunch. You have to catch it right there at that, that window. And it's very small window, family. If you're trying to get up on that McGriddle with the chicken, because that joint right there, you have to try that one, all right? Regular pancake, do it if you want. It's a little dry for the throat. You better put some some butter on that thing. Melt that butter up. Put some syrup off on that thing. You'll get a little sweetness. But you get the McGriddle with the chicken. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cut from a different texture. Best fur chinchilla. Jay-Z, holla at you, boy. Um, look. I got a slide, man. It's time for me to go, man. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to see more mashups and mixes and all that good stuff, slap a like on this video, man. Sharing is caring, so share this out with friends and family. You know the vibes. Even hit up your ex. Hit up your ex. Hit up your ex boot thing. I know y'all ain't talking no more like that, but like, look, Dame just dropped some new butters. 
You need to check it out. We can check it out together. We might not get back together. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we will. Maybe we get one more time for the one more time. You know what I'm saying? Little smash and dash. You know? Whatever the case may be. Anyway, I got a slide, baby. Y'all keep it crispy. If you're new around here, stay true around here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Psh, game drops is back again. And uh, for those that don't know, you're about to know. And for those that know, you know how we get down. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, more and more and more Super, Super Official Photo Views Kid Digger Baby I know you care Hey listen man Yeah. <laughs>